We're going to be talking about how to create and modify polygons. The polygon tool is quite useful because it allows you to create a shape consisting of more than one line with just a few mouse clicks and data entries. I'm going to be editing my polygon using the chamfer tool. I'm going to be using some of the more advanced options for chamfer, like no trim. The no trim mode allows me to place the chamfer, an angled line, without deleting or trimming any of the existing elements. I have some hex bolts which need to be defined as polygons using the edge option. If I hover my mouse over the hex bolt feature, you see that each hex bolt is defined using lines. This is pretty poor practice because it wouldn't take much to select one or more lines and then move them out of position. Or if I wanted to delete a bolt, I have to make sure I select all the lines. If I need to move the bolt, I have to make sure I select all the lines. So having the bolt head defined as separate lines can get pretty tedious pretty fast. I could use the pedit command to join the lines, and that would create a polygon to represent the hex bolt. This would be converting those lines into a polyline. But I want to demonstrate the polygon command, so that's what I'm going to use. I can use the polygon edge command to create these hex bolt heads pretty quickly. The polygon tool is located on the draw panel on the home ribbon. It is hidden in the drop down under the rectangle tool. I select the polygon tool. I set the number of sides to six. Then I press enter. I right click to select the edge option. That uses an edge as the option to place and define the polygon size. Then I select the two endpoints of the line on the right side to place the polygon. Notice I select the bottom endpoint first and then the top endpoint. The order I select the endpoints and which endpoints I select determine the orientation of the polygon. The polygon is placed and defined using a counterclockwise method. When I hover over the polygon, AutoCAD identifies the object as a polyline. That's because a polygon is really just a closed polyline. To make the hex head bolt look a little more realistic, I'm going to add a no trim chamfer. You may not be aware of the chamfer tool because it's hidden under the fillet tool on the ribbon, the same way the polygon tool is hidden under the rectangle tool. I select the chamfer tool from the modify panel on the home ribbon. I right click and select trim and verify that it is set to no trim. I right click again to set the distance. I set the distance to 0.04. I press enter to accept 0.04 for the second value to create a 45 degree chamfer. I then right click and select polyline. That means I don't have to select each vertex on my bolt head to place a chamfer. I can place all my chamfers in one shot. The chamfer is placed and my bolt head looks more realistic. To recap, we created a six-sided object using the polygon tool. We then modified the polygon using the chamfer tool. We explored some of the more advanced options available in these tools like the edge option in polygon and the no trim option in chamfer.